what's going on you guys this is wild west in stand and wild westy is heading to nebraska i am uh, i'm about five hours five and a half hours into this drive uh, i left early this morning about four and uh guys i am so so excited this is a this is a bucket list check off for me to go to nebraska out west to do some mule deer hunting i'm just beyond thankful and appreciative that i even got asked to come down to come out here and, and do this this is like i said might not seem big to a lot of people but this is just gonna be awesome this is amazing I'm, i have no words to describe how i'm feeling besides just scattering like i'm doing right now but it's about a 17 hour drive to get there and i'm five and a half hours into it so i've got a long ways to go truck stop that everybody talks about when you drive out west. I guess I should have pulled in. And... It is the 10th. Their firearm season opens up on the 12th, which is a Saturday, which is this coming Saturday. So I should get there to the ranch about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock tonight, Thursday. So I'll have all day tomorrow to kind of relax and get a tour of the, the whole ranch and whatnot and sight my rifle and make sure it's still good to go and then um, head out Saturday morning and hopefully uh, hopefully tag out on a big mule buck so that would be awesome uh, I can't wait it's gonna it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a whole new experience for me uh, doing a little bit of, basically uh, my good buddy's stepdad is gonna take me on a side-by-side -side, drop me off in a certain location and tell me to go on about my own and uh, I'll just give him a text when I'm ready to come back in or when I or when I kill something so I'll be on my own doing it myself and um, it's gonna be awesome Been a lot of uh, spotting and stalking and um, so yeah hopefully it's fun hopefully I, I get close enough close enough to one where I can put it down um, I'm a uh, I'm kind of gonna be picky but I'm kind of not I like I said I need to get back back home by Monday because <clears throat> our season opens up this weekend as well too and it's getting crazy back home the rut's on and a lot of nice shooters have been coming into the areas I hunt and I'm sure I'll get a lot of cell cam pictures while I'm out here out west of bucks daylighting and, and whatnot and, and I won't be in my stand but that's just part of it um, so there's still plenty of season left for me to uh, kill something back home in Indiana. Um, so yeah, well, we will uh, continue this nice long drive and uh, we'll update you later on. And Oh my gosh. 
79, now we're going 65. Come on, people. Just drive the freaking speed limit. My good buddy Nick Schomer. Let's see what he has to say. Hey. What's going on, Nick? Not much, you. Hey, you're on uh, you're on the podcast right now. Really? You just call it in, guys. My good buddy Nick. What's up? We're not getting any responses. Nothing yet. What's going on with them? They meet it? I don't know. It's we got about uh, we got five thousand people watching right now, man. Wow. Yeah, five thousand. It's crazy. Please send us hats. I want some new drip. Hey, they need some new hats and new drip and stuff, buddy. You better send them to your fans. left guys making some good time so let's uh hope it continues to go smooth like this so, let's see what the old burger king's about that was a great burger king sandwich great fries and some good old nuggets Woo! my belly's set and i am ready to finish this we are we just now got into Nebraska so it is the finish line baby still 400 miles to go but it's the finish line I'm gonna call it the finish line so we're we're almost there still making good time supposed to be there in about five hours so Woo! gonna be a hopefully a nice relaxing evening too when I get there so far I feel pretty good I don't feel too tired yet so been a pretty easy drive so far and I p.m. we made great timing uh, I'm pumped I can already tell this place is gonna be sweet and I can't even see anything but uh so yeah we got here smooth and safe and uh, we will go in and get say hi to everybody and uh, get our stuff all taken out of the Jeep and hopefully sit on the couch and enjoy a nice cold beverage so finally made it guys Now heading out this morning to 
Joe's going to kind of give me a loop of the whole ranch and uh, it is absolutely amazing. All the landscape that you can see here. Crazy. Never been out this far west before. We already just saw probably about 10 mule deer over here in this field right next to, their, to his hangar. And as soon as I got up this morning, I looked out of one of them windows and saw two doe just 10 yards away from the building. <laughs> Crazy. Here's a little view. Beautiful skies, beautiful landscape. Chilling the mountains off in the distance. down through between the two hillsides which you see here, the ranges. This is the largest underground river in the world. So it's an aquifer. It runs right down the middle of this thing, goes out. So there's coyote right there, three of them. There you go, you should have brought I know. Three of them. Just thinking I got that. my pistol too. I 
knew I hit him, but he just didn't drop, so I was like, he should have dropped from that far. Um, so getting ready to go and hopefully find him somewhere. Um, hopefully. So. <laughs> So 
at least I am not completely skunked. So I'm, I'm coming home with something, and a very good something. This this mule deer that I killed was unique. It had double brow ties, had a 24 inch spread. It, it was it's bigger than what I thought it was. I, I don't know too much about you know the, the rack size and what's considered a good buck or a mature buck, and I did I think I did well. I think I did really good. So I'm happy. Um, so yeah. Now it's back time to focus on whitetail in Indiana. And I'm hoping that I uh, I had a lot of cool footage. I hope so. Either way, if, if I didn't, it's, it was still in my mind. In my memory, it'll last forever. And you know, I got it there. So that's that's the main thing. So, all right, guys, we'll talk to you later.